YouTube friends! Today we are unboxing my Stitch Fix for the month of February. Um, but if you are new here, I just want to say hi, my name is Meredith and welcome to my channel, Mare of All Trades. We do all kinds of videos. We do clothing unboxings, beauty unboxings, I do lots of hauls, Target hauls, grocery hauls, and we also do lipstick of the day. Today's lipstick of the day is the one that I'm wearing. It is from Burt's Bees, and this is a personal favorite of mine. This one is in the shade Redwood Forest. Now, last time I was at my Target, they actually had some Burt's Bees makeup on clearance, so you might want to go check that out. And of course, I'll link it down below if I can find it for you guys as well. So I thought it was the perfect February Valentine's Day shade. It's red, but it's not like an in-your-face bright red, which I have been known to wear. Um, so yeah, I've been really liking this one a lot. I feel like it's a more wearable work day shade. Not that I work outside the home, but if I did, I could. All right, but enough about that. Let's get into this. So here is what my bundle looks like. Somebody's hiding back there. Oh, there we go. It's kind of on the other side. Well, it looks like a coat. We've got some fun sort of a burgundy printed something something. This feels really soft, whatever it is. And actually, I have a second bundle, so let's take a peek at that. Ooh, yeah. I did ask for a purse, so I am excited about this. Hopefully, it will be the right size that I can fit all my junk into it. <laughs> Alright, so of course, with Stitch Fix, you get a mail back envelope, you pay a $20 styling fee, or sometimes you get the style pass, which actually my style pass is due to renew, uh, I think this month actually. So this will be my second year, no, third year of style pass? I can't remember. I think it's the third, I think it's the third time I've paid for it. Let's put it that way. Anyways, you get a little envelope full of goodies, such as the price list, and you also get some style cards, sneak peek, um, and a note from your stylist. Now my stylist is amazing. Her name is Jill if you're new here She has been my stylist pretty much the entire time I've been with Stitch Fix and she absolutely she gets me So I'm gonna read her note real quick. It says hi Mayor I hope this mint and brown box finds you well and brings a smile to your face just got caught up on My videos of you and your mother-in-law. Please thank her for videoing with you Diane Jill says thanks <laughs> My mother-in-law watches my videos. Um, she says, I love to see you both. And when I'm done here, I'm heading to Target to look for that lipstick. I have never worn a red shade and I'm excited to try. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and see which lipstick I wore last time. It's a problem. I can't remember from video to video which one I've worn. So you might've already seen this one. Um, Thank you for pushing me out of my comfort zone. We are a great pair, LOL. It's true, we are. Sorry about the colors being off in your last fix. It's all good. <laughs> um, I definitely went for bolder, richer colors. Awesome in this fix. And since sleeve length is sometimes our biggest issue, I grabbed a few three-quarter length sleeves. That will be perfect. And a few petite sizes too. Can't wait to see them on you. I got your note about a bag and fell in love with the color and style of the blah 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 blah. Perfect for hands-free style. Absolutely. That's what I love. Have fun with these styles. XO Jill. Alright. Awesome Jill. Let's get into it. I say we start with the handbag because... Yes please. Alright. Just slide the paper off this. Ooh, I like this. This is like the perfect size, which I'll try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. But it's um like vegan leather down here, but then it has like a suede detail, but it's just on this section. I really like that. Um, okay, so it has does have like a side pocket so you could absolutely like slide your phone in there or maybe your lipstick. Although, I don't know. I'm not sure that pocket's big enough for all my lipstick. I have a problem. And then the inside. Okay. Oh, it's got like a card slot and everything, which you're probably not. I'm not sure that it'll show up on camera because it's all black in here. It does come with a crossbody strap like she mentioned. Yeah. Um, I think this is probably going to be staying with me. I'll have to make sure all my junk fits in it, but I'm pretty sure that this should work. And um, there you go. For reference, it's larger than my head. <laughs> all right. So we're going to slide the rest of the goodies out. So here's a question for all of you viewers out there. So I had to 
walk my mother-in-law through the checkout process and help her get started with Stitch Fix, kind of filling out the profile and whatnot. So let me know if you'd be interested in sort of a more in-depth tutorial for anyone who's new to Stitch Fix, who's maybe been a little afraid to try it because they're just not quite sure what they're getting into. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would watch. I know a lot of you guys are people who are already subscribed to Stitch Fix, but anyways. Speaking of which, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. All right, so first clothing items. I am already liking this a lot. So it has this really fun detail on it, and it looks like it's Daniel Rain, which is a brand that I tend to like a lot. I do um, tend to pin a lot of Daniel Rain. It does have the three-quarter sleeves. I like the floral print on it. And this one she sent to me, oh, this one's a large. Jill, you're brave, girl. Okay, well, I'll try it on. Most of the time I do wear an extra large, but I like this. Hopefully it fits, or if not, I can size exchange. We'll see. Okay, so the next item, ooh, this is the really soft one I was feeling earlier. This is by Pink Clover. I tend to buy a lot from that brand. So it's got a button detail and sort of this rich plum color, which I like. And then it's color blocked, so the sleeves and the bottom of the top are like a heathered gray. Okay. I kind of like that. I think that's something that I would wear. I don't know if it's necessarily something... Well, maybe I did pin it. I'm trying to remember. Jill's really good about looking at my Pinterest board, so if you are not happy with your current stylist request, Jill. She is amazing. Okay, the next thing is like a rain jacket. I pack away into my pocket. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? Okay. And it's it says Outwit the Weather, designed for the great British outdoors. Oh. So this is by Jules. I have never heard of that brand. Have any of you guys tried it before? Okay, that's cool. Okay, so it's a floral print, and of course you'll be able to see more of it when I try it on. It does have a gathered waist, looks like. Yeah, gathers at the waist, it's got some pockets. It's very, very thin, so it really is just like a raincoat. So I will have to try that on and see. I live in Minnesota, so that might be a little bit too lightweight for our rainy season. Um, we tend to get a lot of rain in like April and like October, November. So I don't know. I mean, it would be great in like May or June if we get thunderstorms. So we'll see. And then the last item, and this one is by, oh, whoa, it's got a big neckline. Okay. This is Lila Jade. Oh, and this is a petite. Okay. So I have another Lila Jade top that I've had for a couple of years now, I think. And first of all, I absolutely love it. It's nice and soft, but it is held up really well. Um, it doesn't pill up and I wear it all the time. So that's one thing with pink clover is sometimes I feel like the pink clover material, the fabric can be a little bit cheap and some of their items do pill up like kind of a lot in sort of a short amount of time. Not all of them, which is unfortunate because it's like you never know if it's gonna be the one that pills up or doesn't, I don't know. But this is cute. It's got like a zippered kind of a cowl neck or yeah, probably cowl neck. It's a little bit of a wider one. I was almost thinking it might be off the shoulder, but I don't think it is. It does have a cuff, and it looks like it, this one is three-quarter sleeves, and it also has a band at the bottom. And that um, material from the band actually runs up the side of the top, too. So I hope this fits. This is gorgeous. It's a beautiful shade of green. I'm not sure if the shade is coming across on camera, but I absolutely love this. So I hope it fits. All right. Let's get to the try-on. All right, so I have the purse and the first Daniel rain top to show you, so I thought I'd show you the purse first. I really like this. I think it's so cute, and I like that sort of cognac color. I feel like it just goes with so many things. So I think, I didn't take the plastic off just in case, but I think I'm gonna keep the purse. So again, here is the detail up close for you guys. So you can see it's like suede right here. It does have the little handle if you wanted to use it as more of a clutch. But to be honest, I feel like it's kind of large for a clutch. I really like that a lot. And that one is street level and it's $48. So this top is the one that's a large. 
and I'm actually really surprised, but it fits. I was not expecting that at all. So it has the really pretty um, edging here that kind of comes down right in the front as well. I mean, it's a little snug, but I, and again, I'm going to have to watch the footage back, but I don't feel like it's too tight. What do you guys think? Should I size up? I kind of feel like this size fits. So yeah, I don't know. I think this one might be a keeper too. We'll have to see. I'll be back. Alright, so here is that Jules rain jacket. Um, I feel like it might be a little bit big. I, I think the floral print on here is really pretty. The sleeves are quite long on this one. Um, I think it's just okay. My question is how much use would I get out of it? I think it's great that it rolls up and can fit inside its own pocket. That would be perfect if you're someone who travels. I don't travel a ton. Um, I could see maybe buying this if I were like maybe in the Pacific Northwest or somewhere where you get a ton of rain. But I like it. I like that it's longer. I mean, if you're going to get rained on, you want to kind of cover as much of yourself as possible. So this one I'm not so sure about, but we'll see. Here is the pink clover top. Pretty much as usual with this brand, I think it fits really well. I like the sleeve length. Three quarter sleeves usually do well on me, so good job, Jill. I like the color. I do like the buttons. Oh, yeah, a little strap. I hate those things. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like I feel like it looks pretty good. I will, of course, watch the video back and see. Here's the back. And this one is $38, so a good price point. All right, and here is the last one. This is the Lila Jade, and this one is an extra large petite, and it's $58. So, yeah, I really like this one. So here's what it looks like all the way down. Again, three-quarter sleeves. It's got the band here. It's got the line going down here. It has the band at the bottom as well. And then it has this really cute zipper detail. Now this was all the way zipped um, when I unboxed it and I did unzip it because I felt like it just draped and laid a little bit nicer when you unzipped it a little more. So I kind of like that asymmetrical um, neckline. I think that's kind of fun. What do you guys think? So yeah, I don't know. I kind of I feel like this is my favorite like clothing piece out of the whole box, but there's not really a miss out of anything. I like everything a lot. Here's the back. So yeah, I'm gonna have to watch the footage back to really see the fit on everything, but what do you guys think? Oh, I really like four out of five. I like the raincoat, but I'm not sure that it's really necessary, but to be honest, I'm gonna list all the prices down below, by the way. The coat is $74 and the buy all five discount is $69. So, I mean, it's a would end up being like a $5 coat if I decide to keep it because I really like everything else. So definitely leave me your feedback down below. What do you guys think about all the items? Um, I always love chatting with you guys. Have you gotten anything good in your Stitch Fix lately? I, I love uh, hearing from you guys. So, yeah, what did you think? Oh, I think I'm in trouble. The whole box would be 207 if I decide to keep everything. And again, I will leave all the names of the items and prices down below. And I do have my 1500 subscriber giveaway going on right now in my FabFitFun edit sale video. I'll link it for you guys here at the on the end screen. Um, so if you have not already seen that video, you can watch that and get entered, but you have to be a subscriber. So don't forget to do that if you haven't already. Until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, pop up some more videos, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.